everybody. Welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper. And today we're going to do some happy mail from the Love RTS mini swaps. Now, all of the embellishments I'm going to show today are from the mini swap swaps. <laughs> yeah, the mini swap swaps. Say that six times. <laughs> Even two times. I don't think I can say it. <laughs> okay, so... You guys know, I've shared before, once my little basket is full of the envelopes that I get in, I start emptying it and I put them away. I allow myself this. You can find these at the Dollar Tree. You can find them at Walmart, they're a dollar. So that's what I do. I have a little cubby in my closet in my scrappy space. And when this is full, it's time to put them away and share them. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room to sort them like I usually do. So today I'm just going to show you the different swaps and I'm doing my best because a couple of them are at the end of February and I don't really remember them. I, I don't remember the names of them. And honestly, I haven't had time, I'm not gonna lie. I'm also gonna show you a little bit of happy mail from some of my scrappy friends and it doesn't even tip the iceberg. I have a lot to share, I just have not had time. So. Um, what else do I want to say? If you want to join a mini swap or an embellishment swap, definitely look at the description when you're giving this video an appreciated thumbs up and that little arrow. I will have all of the links. All you have to do is click them and you can come and join us. It is a wonderful thing to, um, get happy mail. Number one, in today's world, we need all the happy we can get, right? And two, it, it, I think it keeps your creative juices flowing. It does mine. And it helps me use up my scraps and make them into beautiful things. Every week you guys see me do the example and I love it. I, to, to the point, I don't have very many scraps left between my embellishments and the series that I've been doing and I've been using them up. But never fret. I always make more, right? We all do. So let's get started. I am going to show you three gifts from some of my scrappy friends. And I have more. These are the ones that were in this pile um, to do this video. And I will share the others at a later time. Okay. So that doesn't mean if I got something from you that I'm not appreciative. I am. I just haven't got there yet. So this is from Miss Connie Davis. She's obviously been watching. And Connie, thank you so much. She says on there, I thought you would like these for your recipe album. I have some of your collection in digital. Enjoy, Connie. So look at these beautiful recipe cards, you guys. You guys, isn't this just so wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. It is so sweet of you, Connie, to think of me. Thank you for blessing my day by sending these and just, just making me smile. Look at this car. You guys know all I have is a Sizzix. I do not have anything else. Oh, well, look, it's a little oven mitt. Um, farm, literally a farm with sunflowers, a pie. Oh, I could do a peach cobbler layout. I have a good peach cobbler recipe. All of these beautiful things. Oh my goodness. It is a bench with a pillow. How cute. It's even got the little choppy in the middle that people do that are all fancy. <laughs> oh, a spatula and beautiful. All the same colors of the collections that I have. What a blessing. Thank you so, so much, Connie. Truly, truly sweet of you. I cannot even begin to tell you. So cool. I could keep on going, but I have so much to do. Oh, look, here's a sugar. Look, remember these canisters? Oh, just wonderful. I'm so excited. Okay, I'll stop. All right, Connie, thank you so much. You will definitely be seeing these. In fact, I'm going to put your note right here and I am going to put them in my little embellishment caddy that I have shown you guys several times when I'm doing layouts that I keep. Now, this is from my beautiful friend, Jeanette. And you guys know I do the Through the Rainbow series. And um, so she sent a little Through the Rainbow kit, like little embellishments that have all different colors, some tags, some washi, some rainbow puffies, some rainbow stickies, and then a notebook. You guys know I love notebooks. That's how I keep everything straight. People ask me, how do you keep organized? Oh, I have lots of notebooks. <laughs> so thank you, Jeanette. Thank you so much for making me smile and sending me some happy mail. Also, my friend Nikki. Now, I'm not going to turn this over. 
Look how pretty. She made a handmade envelope. She sent me some washi. She also is the one that made me my sign. Um, she sent me some goodies. My friend Joni sent me some goodies too, but I already used them. Sorry, Joni. <laughs> they were just so pretty. Um, and sent me washi also. And I just, look how pretty her card is. Thank you so much, Nikki. Thank you so much, Joni. You ladies are just beautiful people. All of you are. I, you know, in the world of COVID, we had to learn how to be social, right? Because humans are social creatures. And thank goodness for the internet. That's all I have to say. Because I have made some beautiful friends. And I appreciate you all. I truly, truly do. In my heart, you are all my friends. When you comment, it's like talking to a friend. I love it. So definitely, definitely thank you for those. Now, let's get into some swaps. Now, I literally have, let's see, one. Yeah. Ready? Two. It's going to go. Three. Look how full they are. Four. Five. Six. Seven different swaps here plus the three here. Yeah. Ten. Ten mini swaps. So I warned you to get some kind of snack. <laughs> or as Miss Janet would say, grab a cup of tea. <laughs> so we're going to be playing along here. So let's have some fun. Again. The links are below. If you want to participate in a swap to get this kind of happy mail, you need to be a member of the Love RTS Facebook group that follows Janet Madison, who is the creator of RTS Scrapbooking. Um, I just cannot do it through YouTube also. I have a hard time keeping up as it is, and I just, there's no possible way. Join that Facebook group. It's free. So you come, you join. It might take a little while to accept your request, but answer those questions. We'll get your request going and somebody will approve it. And from there, you just need to look for my posts. They're very prevalent. They're on the featured tab. The events tab have upcoming themes so you can work ahead if you want. And you only have to make four embellishments, four, because my favorite series that Janet has ever done, which is on YouTube, is the 4x4 four four series. I love it. But her Cut Apart series that she started on Patreon, which is only one big whopping dollar a month, is really close to it. Like, it's, it's, it's very close. So that's what inspired me. We do four embellishments in four days, and you get four back in a couple weeks, depending on her wonderful mail system. I'm not even going to go there. Post... Postal workers, I feel sorry for you. I can't imagine the angry customers that come in. I really feel sorry for them because they work hard. They work in the heat. They work in the cold. They work in the rain. And it's just a crazy time for them. And post is going up again. Can you believe that? Okay, I'm going to stop rambling. Now, this is the only swap. I'm not sure what it was. I can't remember. And it must have been in a notebook that I've already thrown out because it got full. So I do know it was a masculine swap. Now let me get a piece of white cardstock before we even start. I'm going to do my best. Now you guys see the amount of embellishments I get. Even if I know when I get them, if there's not a name on these, I am not going to know who they are. There's too many. I just can't. And so again, I will stress, I would love to give you credit for it. You deserve it. You put the work, the time, and the love into it. And please put your name on the back of the embellishments. Even my bestie, bestie, scrappy friends, if you don't put your name on them, I'm not going to remember. I mean, a girl can only do so much, y'all. <laughs> okay, so then we also have a title. And it's called Dude and Brothers. And this was made by... Oh, I don't know. So, I, I, I know I saw this, but honestly, I don't know. And the good part is, is even if it doesn't have a name on it, a lot of the gals share pictures of what they are making on that Facebook group, and you'll you'll recognize them, okay? This one is Mr. Fix, Fix It, and is made by Katana, and she also included a diamond. Um, it's embossed. It's very pretty. I will do my best. I have taken the time and taken all of these out of their packaging, but there are some that have little bits and I am leaving in the package, so there will be some glare. So I will apologize for that up front. It is what it is. I'm not going to lose pieces. <laughs> so Mr. Fix It, there's also some uh, tools in there. Looks awesome. And then I have a little baggie full of, I didn't take this one out. I'm sorry. I could have easily done that. 
You guys, if you, it took me an hour to take them all out of the packaging. These are just gears and wheels. I'm feeling my Morgan gun right here, my MK. <laughs> Those are pretty and they're silver. My husband builds cars and that's where I use most of my gears is in uh, model cars layouts that my husband builds. I don't even think I've filmed one, to be honest. It's been a while since we've moved. He hasn't, well, yeah, he has projects. <laughs> he doesn't have the free time right now, but eventually he will, right? All these kids will grow up and be gone. All right, so I'm just going to, as I do this, for my sake, put these in here. So that was the male themed swap. I don't know what the exact name of that swap was because it's been a while. Those were probably scragglers that came later. Now, this one was called Father Time and let's see, day, oh, Daylight Savings Time. And this is by Jeannie. This one is by Josie. See how they put little things, even if theirs are small, they put, and I keep them with them so that when I use them now, I'm a lot better about that. A cuckoo clock front. This one was made by Michelle. Look at that little bunny. How cute is that? I love this title. My husband hates Daylight Savings Time. He is so excited it is no more. Can't even begin to tell you, but I will still use this because that's how much. Now, this one was made by Paula Green. It did get a little bit torn by the washi tape. It is very delicate and very, very pretty. And it says Happy Spring. I will still use this, most definitely. I'll just, I'll just make the boo-boo go away. We can do that, right? So I'm gonna put these away. Make sure I put the right name and put that washi tape on the back so that it does not blemish. I'm gonna put this on the back as well. Hmm, where's my, look you guys, I have an ongoing thing of washi tape over here. So I will put that just like that. So I will always know that Miss Jeannie made that beautiful one. Okay, this is the recent Through the Forest Swap, what I have gotten so far. Um, so let's just start in. Let's see here. I don't see a name, but look how pretty these are. I'm just going to lay them out. Um, this one was made by Vanessa. This one was made by Donna Clark. <laughs> That's a little ladybug. This one was made by Darlene. Um, I know these have other little bits. I have to find them. Um, no name on this beautiful detailed owl. Look how pretty this is. You guys, like two stamps. That's all that's all you're paying. Now, granted, I am on a lot of teams. I fill up spots, and there's always some scragglers that come in and message me later, so then I give away my spots. So sometimes it ends up I get on every single team, and sometimes you'll see swaps where I was on no teams. There might be swaps that happen that I do not have. Um it just, it depends. I do my best to make sure anyone that wants to participate can. So if you don't see yours, it just means I wasn't on your team. That's all it means. Now, this one was made by Kim and she accidentally, um, or, or she had a little mishap. She was going to do these, decided not to. So she sent me a bunch of extras of these. So I have these. You might get these if I have to improvise and share. And then she did this beautiful cutout also instead in place of, cause this didn't work the way she wanted to. So she sent those beautiful things. <clears throat> I love this. This looks like something Debbie Johnson would make. She really likes these detailed elements and I'm, but it, she's pretty good about putting her name on them, but aren't those, oh, that's just Montana happening for me. Y'all know my Montana stories, okay. So then look at this beautiful one. Oops, there's a little heart. Oh, I I have this die set, so I know this little heart goes in this fox's hands. It does. And I think these go with that. I'm pretty sure. 99%. Okay, look how pretty this is. This was made by... I do not know. And I did try, if it had a name on the bag, I did try to write them on the back. And then these were made by, again, I don't know. Sorry, guys, but they are so cute. They really are cute. And I'm pretty sure these little critters went with those. This one was made by Vanessa. I wrote that on the back. 
This one was ma mailed by Kim. Look how cute the little hedgehog is. I love that. My mom used to crochet hedgehogs. I have one. I should take a photo and use this one. That's so cute. <laughs> little hedgehog. Um, this one, they came together. There's a little bunny tag and then the wolf with the moon and it was made by Krista. Thank you for putting your name on there, Krista. And then this will have some glare. Look, it looks like a painting, y'all. It is so pretty. Um, This was, I might say your name wrong, sweetie. You know me? I, I think her real name is Tammy. I think this is just her Facebook name because I think I remember seeing her mail. I think it's Tammy. I, if Let me know. Comment. Um, I know she's going on a little vacation, but look, the little fairy and a little compass, adorable. Then this one, it did get, this is an example. This did get a little bit torn by washi. You guys think that washi wouldn't stick, right? And it never sticks when we want it to, but it will tear the front of your embellishment. So I gave um, the good ones to others because I was a captain in this and I, I kept the one that got a little blemish because... I'll just add more embellishments. You guys know me. And this was Ms. by Miss Michelle. Look how pretty those layered trees are. Just gorgeous. Let me gather some of these goodies up here. I want to keep the ones that belong together together. I think that, were these made by Karen? I think these were made by Karen. I'm pretty sure Miss Karen made those. Because I remember thinking, I have those. I love those. Now, this was made by Donna Clark as well. And um, she sent me extras. So I will put those in the extras tub here. This one was made by Karen Kay as well. It must go with those other ones, um, those other trees. Then this is a cute little envelope. I love this paper. I love this paper. And let's see what all kind. Oh, my goodness. There's all kinds of cute goodies and you know you can save these envelopes one you could take them apart and use the paper two you guys know me i reuse things and two save them and put your embellishments inside of them when you do a swap get four and you could do that a bunch oh my gosh this is screaming my gnome heart <laughs> it totally is like there's a little stuff and it was made by miss ella so Caroline, she goes by both names and I get a little confused. Sorry, Caroline. These are just freaking adorable. <laughs> I just love them. Okay, now I got to try to pick them up with my no nails. Although my friend Michelle sent me a link and I'm going to try a new product. I've ordered it. It's not here yet, but I'm excited to try it. Okay, so that was the through the forest swap again. If you didn't see your goodies, it's not because they weren't part of the swap all of my amazing captains, I'm not on every single team. Sometimes it works out I am, sometimes it works out I'm not. Okay, now we're going to do the game swap. <clears throat> Pardon me. There's an on or a no. I don't know which way it is. Here is a beautiful controller. and It's a flip. Look at that. How cool is that? And this was made by Michelle Parker. This one... Maybe there's a name underneath. Has a game controller. I don't see a name, but isn't that, that's that has the uh, <clears throat> Marvel vibe, doesn't it? Comic book vibe. I love that. Then I have this beautiful, beautiful tag. You guys, this is like screaming '80s to me. I love that it's a little ghost, and I'm not sure who made it. There's no name. I'm gonna put these back together. Okay, and this one here, um, I believe Barb made this one, and it's got layers. And she also included some little Mario stickers. I just, and she sent me extras. There's a bunch of little stickers. My son's room, Junior's room, was Mario for like three years. He was obsessed with Mario Kart. So I will definitely be using that one made by Miss Barb. And like I said, she didn't send me extras, so I'll have some in the extras tub. This was made by Cheryl. It's a little computer with the controllers. So cute. So cute. This was also made by Barb. It is a heartbeat with a controller. And then on the back side, um, Mario stickers. So, so cute. Definitely will use that one too. This was also made by Barb. She was a captain and she's so sweet. She always sends me extras. Um, these are also extras. In fact, I'm not, <clears throat> pardon me, going to put that in here. 
I am going to put this over here in my extras pile, but I did want to show you one of her creations. Here is uh, Eat, Sleep, Game, Repeat, and it was made by Paula Green. So cute, matching elements. I love the lattice around there. Gives you a little bit of a feminine vibe because my daughter plays games too. Now, I'm not even sure. I think this says Gamer, and this controller goes with it. Um, it's layered as well. It was made by Jeannie. Very cute, fun colors. Remember that paper in the paper kit for the giveaway that I showed? This kind of stuff would totally go with it. That's that's the thing now. The 80s are back, people. <laughs> 80s are back. This was made by uh, Miss Sherry. Um, a headset and a matching controller. Very, very cute. I love, remember Frogger? I'm showing my age. This and this go together. A wonderful title. We're always looking for titles. And it was <clears throat> done by Tina. I, I See, I did know her real name was Tina. There we go. So there is that. Then this is a little goodie packet. And I'll hold it up so that the glare isn't as bad. It's got some wood veneer. It's got some epoxy. Um, it says gamer for life uh, and they're pretty thin and this was all done by Linda Holt It has tickets and a little tag in there a sweet little little goodie bag. She was also a captain This one was made by Donna Clark and it oh here we go game on see I knew it had to be somewhere This is the title now. I'm gonna leave the washi on there. Well, no, I don't want you to think the washi is on there I have to be really careful. Okay game on and then, oh, there's another element. Oh, just good times, a little sentiment, and a controller by Miss Donna. And I'm going to washi tape them back right on here. Okay. And then this amazing arcade sign. I'm not sure if this is supposed to go with the frog or not, but I feel like they should go together. And you guys know I'll put things together even if they weren't made by the same person. That's totally okay. So that was the gamer swap. <clears throat> then next we're going to have the, oh, this one is the zoo swap. I am excited for this one. Y'all, I cannot wait until this weekend when I show you all the under the sea items. Oh, I have one last team that I get to mail before I can share it because I'm waiting for one person, but it's going to be fun. You guys are going to, your minds are going to be blown. Everyone did an amazing job. They always do, but wow. This went beyond. Now, this one was made by Lori. I think Lori sent a whole bunch to me. Look at these pandas. How can you not love them? She sent me a little Dumbo. I know for a fact that Lori loves Disney. She sent me some beautiful elements for my granddaughter a while back, probably about a year back, and I've used about half of them, and I just love them. These were all made by Lori. Let me, yeah. Oh, look at the little koala. And I am using this ostrich. I have an ostrich story. Yes, from last year and the San Antonio drive through zoo. Oh, I might have already told it. It was scaring me. Okay, and this one was made by Cindy. Little giraffe bits. I love that she sent the um the free parts from the spots because you can use those as enamel dots or something. And then a couple little safari leaves. And then we have a title with also this pretty um this was made by linda jean or linda holt i'm sorry and um she sent some border strips along with that and don't fret about them being bent you glue them down nobody's gonna know nobody's gonna know and they match her title very well with some tiny little brads and the word zoo let's see here let me pick up some of these elements all these were made by Lori. Lori put her name on the back of everything, so I don't have to stress about that at all. I love these pandas. I just love them. They make the cutest baby page, wouldn't they? That's the one thing about the zoo swap. <coughs> Pardon me. You can also use a lot of these zoo animals on baby pages, hands down, even if you don't have zoo pages. Mm, I'm going to set this aside because I don't want those little bits. So then we have a little, um, It it's layered. Doesn't look layered, but it is. And it's like a stamp frame. Yeah, and it was made by Shelly Allen. Very pretty, that's pretty. Um, then I have this one. <laughs> I love this, that's really, really cute. Made by Cindy. 
some more giraffe elements. This one, um, I'm not sure who made this one. Adorable. It's layered. It's uh, You guys, the camera does not do these justice. Like, the nose is a layer. The black um, negative is a layer. And then they've gl glued all these together. So they're very beefy elements. I mean, I don't know if that's the best way to describe them. <laughs> how I'm going to describe them. This was made by Jeannie. See how you washi tape so I would know. And that's, I've told you guys, make little scallops with your um, um, scraps, especially your white scraps. If you're like me, you always have white scraps laying around. And then just sit in front of the TV, watch your favorite YouTuber, watch your favorite show, and put all those elements in there and just write your name on them. Then you just got to washi tape them to the back. Um, this one is... A day at the zoo, and I am not sure who made them. So it comes with this beautiful elephant. Um, I don't, I don't really know. It, it, it's just a die cut. It's it's pretty. I don't know what you silhouette. That's the word I'm looking for. And then it, these these letters spell a day at the zoo. So those go together. And then this pretty burlap title zoo. Wonderful. Very safari looking. Um, Josie made this cute little koala bear and look, there's another elephant. I'm not sure where that was supposed to go. Maybe it got lost in the transfer here. This was made by Krista K. Zoo Adventure, my favorite color red. Let me grab some of these elements. Now I will sort these by color and I'm debating about the zoo one because I do have a lot of zoo pictures and maybe I'll just do a bunch of zoo layouts, but I don't know. We're going to see what happens. I'm not going to promise anything yet. These are a bunch of like safari looking leaves. Love them with the tag. And I don't know if those came with the elephant or not, but all gorgeous items. A day at the zoo, some more elephants. Oh, his little trunk got a little bent. That's all right. We'll just glue him down. And then this beautiful title, this is gorgeous. Um, beautiful title as well, many layers. Again, the camera does not do justice to just how um, substantial some of these embellishments are. And this was made by Anne. This one was made by Cheryl. <laughs> little googly eyes look at him and it says monkey business I believe is what it says yes it does monkey business now the best part about I love titles like this because if I wanted to decorate it you could take a marker and you could outline I mean there's so much you could do so much you could do do not box yourself in I've said it once I will say it again once you own these embellishments you do what you want to make what they you need them to be. Look at this awesome kangaroo. And it did come with these silhouettes of Australia. Like how, uh, these are amazing. These are so cool. So cool. Elephants, and I think that's a lion and a giraffe. These are really, really neat. So those all came together and they were made by Vanessa. Pretty, pretty. Let me pick some of these up. And put them in my tub over here. I want to keep the same elements together. I'm just laying them flat in the tub here, but with me. So that later today, my goal is to put them away. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping. Zoo. Oh, pocket of fun. How cute is this? And this was made by Glinda. This one is a monkey. And it was made by Sherry. Oh, and this one, this one is so cute. Linda Phelps made this one. It's a squirrel. <laughs> this one I know was made by Barb because she sent me extras for a gift. So there's that one. And then this was made by Michelle. Beautiful, beautiful sign. How many, that's just perfect. We go to the zoo and they always have those safari-like signs. So there's that swap. Now, there were probably many more that I did not get. This is just an example and... A share so you know if you decided to be a part of the swaps the kinds of things that you might get okay I'm going to take this out because I'm afraid it's going to get damaged I'm gonna set that over there see I have them just laying flat and I don't want them to get any owies on them <laughs> my thing and owies all right this is from the Western swap 
And we have some fun, fun, fun. Okay, so these are some more borders. They are just simply amazing. Um, and they were made by, I want to say Linda as well, but I don't really know. There's not a name on them. I do think they were made by Linda, but I could be wrong. Um, I'm sorry if it's wrong. Um, maybe I don't see the name. I just want to double check. I, I want to give credit if somebody did. Okay, I'm pretty sure they were made by Linda, um, but aren't those cool? Look at those. Those are barbed wire, and she sent little barbed wire pieces. Very cool. I'm going to put those there, too. I don't want them to get smashed. Okay, then let's see. Giddy Up. I do not, I'm not sure who made that, but again, it does not do justice. This band is layered. This is layered, and this is thick. Like, it's thick card. It's, it's very good quality. All of you ladies do such an amazing job. So many talented, and the best part is, is, you can have the same theme and everyone takes it on differently. Everyone. Here are some little hearts. Now I am gonna put them back in the package, but two are wood grain and one is red. Look at those. Aren't those adorable? I have no idea who made them, but they are so cute. Love them. Right along the Western theme. Wood grain is always Western. Then we have a tag that says howdy. Um, I do not know who made that one. See how the washi tape, good thing they flipped it over because the washi tape ripped it. It's crazy how that happens. You don't think washi tape would do that, but it does. Oh, this is the one that it did get a little bit torn and it's Old West. And I think I might have shared some of these, but I didn't have them all in and I keep them all together, but that's okay. Um, Barb made this one. Yeah, I do know I shared some of these. I did, but I, I didn't put them away. This was made by Lori. She always makes the cutest little girls. She has this stamp, and the way she decorates them for different themes, I just love it. So that is that one. Okay. And then we have the, these little bits. I think these were barbs. All these little bits. Here, they all go together. Yeah, I do know I shared some of these last time. This was made by Cindy. I also know there's a bunch in here that have not been done yet. And it, there's a boot, and there's two spurs, and a sheriff's badge. How cute is that? And her name is on all the elements, so I don't have to worry about that. This is a frame... And here is a tag. I'm not sure who made the tag. I love this rope frame. That's pretty. And then there are these elements made by Linda. And this was also made by Linda. So like a little campsite, you know, out on the range. This is textured paper. That's cool. Oh, this must go with this. Looky here. Oh, I'm throwing things around. Are you serious, Ginger? the drama these must go with this howdy honey i love that and it's all wood grain and this was made by melissa she must have used a close to my heart she's a rep for close to my heart very cool very very cool and it's got um stitching it's very pretty very pretty here is a wanted sign made by ann here is, this was also made by Anne, Wild West. My guess is she probably had all those elements together. Very cute. <laughs> Recently, I went to um, uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not, and they had a little Western theme. We took some pictures, and I could definitely use those. These, This was made by Sherry. Oops, probably don't want to see her little thing. That was made by Sherry. This one was made by Michelle. A little saddle and a cowboy hat and the again they're layered and they have texture to them very fun now these elements are, I'll take apart later um this one was I'm not sure who made this one oh I can see there's a name on there see how you have to be super careful oh this was made by Cheryl and there's the little gal and I'm not going to take the washi tape off but look she has a little horse Remember playing with those stick horses? Okay, then let's see here. I have Howdy Partner. This was made by Paula Green and she also sent cowboys 
and a hat, cowboy boots and a hat. They even have spurs on them. I didn't want to take them out of the bag because I don't want them to get lost. They all go together. I did want you to be able to see the Howdy Partner title. I mean, you really do get a lot of titles. It saves a lot of time when you have titles. Okay, this one says Cowboy and it was made by Sherry. I know Sherry was a captain for this one. Okay, let me, I want them to stay together because I don't want to mix them up. And let's see here. These would all, actually I'd probably store all those together just like that, not kidding. I've shown you guys before how I store things. Now this one was made by Sherry as well. Oh, I must have got two. So I need to put one of these in the extra. So I will put, you know what? This one has a nice little um, cardboard. So I will put this back in a baggie and I will give this to the extras. Oh, here's a cowboy hat that goes with that. Okay. So these little bits were all made by Sherry. She lives in South Carolina and it says, yeehaw. <laughs> Isn't it kind of scary how easy it is for me to do that? <laughs> and here is a wanted sign along with some cowboy boots and a spur. Um, and I'm not sure if they all go together. Um, LM is who made those. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know what that stands for. I probably should. And this was made by Sherry as well. I will probably put that all together. These two bits came together and these are so cool. This is a very delicate textured paper. It is so pretty, so pretty. And I'm not sure if these, where the boots go, to be honest, but I would probably store those together. Okay, so there's all those. This is why sometimes I honestly, if it's not directly on the embellishment, I don't know where it came from, y'all. I mean, you guys can imagine. Okay, and then somebody sent all these little farm elements and I can't even begin to tell you how freaking cute they are. They are so cute. So cute. You know, I gotta get them all out here. Look, aren't they so cute? They just bless my little heart. This is so adorable. <laughs> you know what these remind me of? Remember those Fisher Price toys we used to get when we were kids? That's what they remind me of. What fun. And all such beautiful, and they're layered, you guys. I do not know who made these, but oh my. You put a lot of work into this. Lots of work. I don't know if they colored them, but wonderful job. They're all wonderful. I love them all. I do. Okay, so this was made by Lizette. Look, there's a little taco. Happiness is tacos and guacamole. I'm not even, oh, it says Team Rope. And let's see what's in here. I did not open this beforehand. Now, I've got to write the name on it somewhere. Oh, I see why, look. It has its little rope pieces. Those are awesome. Those are really awesome. And it says Happy Trails. Looky there. Oh, is there, is there a little, oh, there is little note. Oh, a little cactus. Oh, this is just so cute. I just love these swaps. Oh, that's not, that goes there. Okay. So now I need to, this is what I will do. And I will write Lizette's number name on here. I think I spelled it right. Mm, no, it's on here. I'm horrible with names. You guys, I can't even remember. There's only one Z. I can't even remember my own kids' names, and I, I gave them life. <laughs> so don't be offended. <laughs> I'll save that washi tape. I'll just use this washi tape on my swaps when I do that. You guys will be seeing that again. So I was like, I cannot. I mean, I can only put so much washi tape on my light here. And I'm not going to just throw it away. You guys know better than that. I don't want that to get all mixed up. So I'm going to set that there. There we go. All right. Next swap we have is this was, I have to pull some, oh, let the music play. That's what this was. So, these little, are they called treble clefts? Oh, Barb's probably cringing at me right now. <laughs> these treble clefts were made by Linda Jean, AKA Linda Holt, 
three different colors beautiful beautiful why do i feel like they're backwards i don't know and then i believe it came with these little bits so there's those those are so pretty you guys i have to tell you this music swap was very sentimental for me i love music as a lot of us do my husband's mother who passed away loved loretta lynn and my father loved music and it both have passed and it, it got a little emotional for me because i kept thinking of photos i could do that would honor them yeah it, it got a little bit crazy for me but you know what that's all right that's what we do it for these were made by vanessa look how beautiful these are there is so it's so much texture those are just so cool wow i wish you guys i wish you had feel a vision <laughs> this it's like she painted them those are amazing amazing look at little elmo he's so cute remember the tickle me elmo phase if you have kids in their 20s, oh, you were part of that phase. And I'm not sure who did this one, but it's super, super cute. Love that. And then we have a little songbird. Very textured. Very pretty. Um, Linda Holt made this. Same kind of paper. That's just, I maybe there's a new kind of paper I don't know about. Y'all are holding back. It's almost like it's decoupage layers. I'm telling y'all, that's what it feels like to me. I don't know, but it's pretty. And little staples with the bluebird. That's pretty. Then this one was given to me by Barb with some extra music notes. Um, now, I don't know if she made this part of her swap because Barb, she's always sneaking me goodies, which I love. I act all. <laughs> I love it. I just love it, all of you. Um, and music makes the world go round. This was one of the ones I was like, oh, I could do a Loretta Lynn layout. Okay, and this one here says all that jazz. It was made by Paula Green. And this one says disco, and there is a name on it. Oh, oh, Paula Green as well. I don't know if she made a set, maybe. Um, where, where, where words fell music speaks amen to that oh and this is a piece of vellum look at that and this is textured this is embossed with music notes and this was made by mary i believe that's what it says yes mary that is, oh that's gorgeous that is gorgeous now this is a little thing of goodies and i don't want to take them out um they were made by uh marianne and it's just, it's a music thing. It is a title. Mm, no, she took the time. She deserves. See, I just can't. You guys put time and love into them. I just can't not share them. I have to. Even if it makes it harder for me later to store them. I just want to keep them together. Okay. So it says celebrate. It's music. And then this is, this is cool. This is like a little Egyptian guy playing the flute. He's cool. Okay. So I'll put those together. These elements all go together. I do know that. So we have some headphones. We have a record. It says music is what feeling sounds like. Oh, that's cool. Um, there were, where words fell, music speaks. Another set of ear buds. Oh, I can use that, my kids. Oh, and they're all glittered. They're all glittered. I am going to guess this is by Melissa. Was it? Oh, it is by Melissa. I recognize the stamp set from close to my heart. Very cool elements. Very cool. And she took a shimmer pan. And so while you probably can't see that on camera, there is glitter. Very, very cool. Love all these elements. Then I also have some days I need music. Some days I need lyrics. Oh, so true. And this was made by Jamie. Oh, she even used music washi tape. How cool is that? That's cool. And then she just has a, um, I don't know what these lines are called, music that are on a music page, and then a bunch of notes. So there's that. Not very versed in that. I love to listen to music, play music. Now here's a heartbeat with a guitar. Let me pick up some of my beauties here. My beauties. That's what I'm calling them. <laughs> Okay, so there is a music note with a guitar. 
And here is another one with notes, heartbeat. Very pretty. You know, for those of us that don't have circuits and those fancy machines, these are amazing because otherwise we have to buy them. Now, I don't, I think Barb made these, but I'm not 100% sure. Then this one says music. It was made by, I don't know, but it's very pretty. They all are. And here, oh, these are the eyes to that. That's why I know there's probably some, but these are the little eyes that go with it. Oh, it's made by Jeannie. See, she put a little tab in there and these go together. Okay. Then this one was made by Debbie. This is one of the ones just reminds me of old country music. Dolly Parton, Loretta Lynn, Tammy Wynette, George Jones, just speaking to my heart. So definitely, definitely we'll probably use that. I mean, she even put little pearls here. How cute. Then we have this one here. Now I'm not sure if the music notes go with this one or not. Um, and I'm not sure who made this beautiful title. Just a note, love that. Then I have this little goodie set and it was made by Glinda and it has um, hearts with the swoop of the music notes and then a keyboard and some more music notes. And my guess is maybe these went with it. I think they did, all made by Glinda. And that is the music swap, all butamous, butamous, butamous. Okay, next we got three left. We can do it. This is the green swap in March. And we're gonna see lots of St. Patrick's Day items. This one was made by Rebecca. Look how cute that is. Green and gold, that's what the swap was called. Called, pardon me, can't talk, nothing new. <laughs> There's some clovers. Um, and there is another element. Now, I don't know if those all went together, but they match really well, don't they? Then we have just some clovers. These were made by Anne. Look, and she puts her name on every one, bless her. For people like me, who have a hard time. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, one of the layers must have fallen off. We'll have to figure out where that goes. I'm gonna guess this one, it feels a little lighter. So there's that. Um, oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Go there. Look how textured that is. Can you guys? I'll edit out where her thing was showing. I did not realize that it was a address label. Um, Kristen made this beautiful die cut and then bits in the back. And I don't want to take them apart because they're so, so delicate and they're so pretty. Definitely gorgeous. I'm because I know the glare. Um, this was made by Lizette. A little envelope. How cute! With a bunch of goody bits inside. <laughs> goody bits. Oh my, there's a lot of goodie bits in here. All right, she made, let's, let me put all these back together here. Now, some people are on more than one team. So when you hear me say their name more than once, it's because they're on several teams and sometimes they make all the same and sometimes they don't. Now this is all inside of, look how, that's a cool little tab. Um, all inside of this, I think she meant for it to go this way. I'm not sure. Um, inside of this little envelope, here's a tiny tab. Look at that. That's awesome. Little tab. Yes, I get excited. I know. A clover. Some. Are those? Mm, it, uh, what are those called? I can never remember. I know it's like Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Something like that. Infinity. I don't remember. Good luck, a bunch of little tabs. It's all about the green, lucky me. Turn that upside right. Some clovers, some tags. These are awesome. Love all these little tuckers. That's what I like to call these little bits. And you just tuck them right into places. Okay. Pretty, pretty. And then we got a little shamrock. And this was made by Linda. This was made, now I gotta be careful, I had to glue some of these on, which is okay. That's totally okay. This was made by Karen. Um, oh, see, look, there's another one. This was made by Linda Phelps, Linda H. Have too many Lindas. 
Um, this was made by Michelle. And I have an extra one, so I put it in the extras tub. And I'm not sure who sent these goodie bits with theirs, but there's goodie bits. Some more goodie bits. This one was made by, hmm, they're feathers, they're gorgeous. Oh, look, this one is the extra, yeah, okay. This was made by Michelle as well, and my guess is she was a captain, so she made different elements, or she had to substitute, because life gets in the way sometimes, and sometimes we can't all make it, make it in on time. Look, this gnome, I love him, I love him. Oh, I don't know who made him, but he is adorable. And then this says Lucky um, Annette, I believe. I wonder if they go together. I think they do. <laughs> I love that. This is Lucky. Look, it's another gnome. I love his beard, Sarah. <laughs> the gnomes just make me smile, y'all. I can't help it. I can't help it. They make me smile. Okay, so put that in the shell. All my little green green things and yep all of them now ones that are definitely 100% about St. Patrick's Day I'll probably put together the rest will just go in my green binder two more left let's see here now this one oh this one I could not remember one of them is favorite things but another one I think was a gar the garden swap and I don't 100% remember which was which so I put them together, forgive me. All right, and then we have one more after this. So this is little garden bits. Let's see here. Let me throw this away, sorry. All right, little garden bits, very cute. They were made in Michelle. I love these little bits. I, I just love them because I can create clusters with them. That, that's my thing. Now, I need to put that in, in envelopes. I don't want to get lost. This was made by Linda Phelps, and she sent two birds with it. Where did they go? <gasps> they better be in this pile. I know they're in here, so just bear with me. I don't know. Were they in the envelope? Now I'm panicking. Oh, they were. See? I was like, they came. And she put to hide the defects, but I don't see any defects. But she did give two birds to go with that. So there's that, and this is one of those long ones that I am going to put here. This is when you make your own pockets. I've showed you guys when I organize, that's when that comes in handy because, yeah, you don't want those to get bent. Um, Let's see here. I'm pretty sure all of these to these flowers were part of the garden swap. Yeah, and then these are the favorites. So let's just go through these real quick. This beautiful element here, this little fence, look at that. And it was made by Michelle, is it Michelle on there? Yes, Blake, Michelle Blake. These flowers are beautiful. They are see-through and they are layered and they are gorgeous. Gorgeous. This was made by Anne, and she made a set of two. I believe there's two. Uh-oh. Look how cute. <laughs> the little ant. How do you not love the little bugs? <gasps> oh. And then here is a little boot with some flowers. And these bits were made by Sherry. There's some leaves to go with it. So I'm going to stack those right back like I have them so they don't get messed up. Just like that. Gardening tools. This, I don't know who made this, but it's very pretty. And I think this goes with it. Not 100% positive. This one was made by Glinda. Look at the little boots. This is, it says sweet. And I'm not sure who made it, but it's really super cute. And then this was made by Anne. Pretty flower. Is this a hibiscus? Is that what that is? I'm not good on that. This one, I don't know who made it. Maybe there's a name on it. But these flowers are drop gorgeous. They all are, but I just, these are so pretty. I love these kind of flowers. This is when I wish I had a circuit and I could cut this kind of intricate stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna put it back in the vellum envelope that she put them in, or he whatever, whoever the creator was of these. I'm excited.
excited that more men are getting into this. Have you guys noticed that that's been happening more? It excites me. Paula made this beautiful homegrown sign. Then Sherry made this very cute, is it all together? I believe it is. Um, yeah, Growing Up Daisy. That was the name of this swap. Anything with a flower. Yeah, pretty sure. That's really pretty. Look how it goes so well together. Okay, I want to put this in between so that I know it goes together. That's my theory anyway. Oh, and look, this hat and hat, it must have been a set of three. Let me put them all together. Okay, so I'm going to take these little bits, set them in my my little cart crate here. All right, so this was favorite things. I am not going to take these out. They were made by Linda, and they are almost metallic looking. Very pretty, and they're little pieces, and I don't want to lose them. So there's that. Some of the parts I regret that I take them apart. These, I'm not sure who they were made on, by, but they're just a bunch of flowers. This is from the favorite swap. Um, Come on, open up. See, this is why I do most of these off camera, because I can't, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just me. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Oh my gosh, this is already an hour long. Well, it is what it is. So flowers, aren't those pretty? Very pretty. I'm gonna try to hurry along. Um, this is, oh, these are pretty. These are die cut flowers all put together and they were done by, oh goodness, that yellow, Debbie, I believe it says Debbie. And they're washi taped on here. And there's different, looky here, different sections of flowers. They're gorgeous. Love the paper. Love the washi. Oh, and this piece of paper went with this. Just like that. Look at that. Did you see that? I scooped that up. That was like a tablecloth move right there. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Maybe that's what's taking me so long. Of course, there's just a lot, <laughs> a lot. These were made by Jeannie. These are like mixed media made. They are gorgeous. They are so pretty. I think these would be pretty with a rainbow paper. They were made by Jeannie. This one, let's see here, was made by Paula, my favorite things. This one was made by Karen. She made tags. And so was this one. Um, I don't know if they were sets of two. I don't even know how I ended up with two, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to put it in the extra because I think they'd be really cute together. <laughs> like, sorry. I hope that's okay, Karen. Um, this one was made by Tiffany. Look at the layers on this nice, cute little dainty stamp. It's so pretty. And the little butterfly is sparkly. Very cute. Then these, I know who these were made by. Oh, they all came together. These two flowers and this butterfly is layered. The name's not on the back of them. I know there was a mailing issue and she felt so bad that she shouldn't. The mail is what it is. Very, very cool. I love how this is layered. Isn't that cool? And they all go together. I, I don't know who the name is like right on the top of my head and I can't think of it. Okay, these were made by Jeannie. Now my guess is she was a captain. So she had a couple different teams. Look at these, I love these. And when you get dyes like this, you have to sit and poke all these little bits out. You do, and I think she fussy cut those. Maybe she has one of those machines that does that for you. I'm not sure. Those were by Jeannie. Here is a tag, and this was by Colleen. Oh, I love that. Look at this butterfly. It's like textured. And it says grow. Gorgeous tag. This one was made by Polly. Love. Look at that layered flower. It's so pretty. My friend Terry would like that. That's her favorite color. Um, Let's see here. Christina made this beautiful book. She must love to read. It's really cool. I like that. That's cool use that in my Bible journal. <laughs> I'm thinking of ways to use it. Sorry, you guys. My favorite photos, Focus Ginger, Focus, was made by Paula. 
She must have been on more than one team. And Caroline made just, the, this is what I mean. There is no wrong way. I like getting all of these things. She just stamps some elements and you can color them however you want. How smart is this? I mean, she did some in blue, some in purple, some in green. I love this, love this idea. Because then you could just cut them out and use them however you want. Awesome idea. Okay, we got one more swap, y'all. Bear with me. This is it. All right, this is from the home welcome home swap. Oh my gosh, I gotta to see. This is why my desk starts looking the way it does. Okay, just like that. All right, so this one was made by Cheryl. Look at the. <laughs> I love it. This was made by Peggy. Love the gate. I think this. Yeah, she has all these elements now. I didn't take them off because she was very smart. Turned them upside down. But look, we have warm and cozy, welcome. I, I love these. You guys know I love these. Home. I, I just love little sentiments. And it all matches this. And I don't know if she colored this or printed it. But man, isn't it pretty. This would be a very good one for my mother's cabin. Hmm. You guys have seen me do layouts of my mom's cabin. Just... Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, this, whoops, I dropped the little birdhouse. I'm gonna have to pick it up. This was made by Jeannie and it says home cooking. Y'all know where this is going. It is going over here in my stash for my recipe. Okay, my recipe layouts. All right, this says home and this says home. The only rule was you had to have the word home somewhere in your embellishment. It didn't matter where. All right. Um, I don't, does it say who made these? Oh yes, Paula. Paula made these. This was made by, just a set of two. I think Linda Holt made these. Family rules. Oh, yep, look, I was right. A little sentiment that says home. And I don't know why I have two. Maybe I was on two teams. That could have been. Um, Home is where you are. Just a bunch of sentiments. How sweet. I I love this stuff. There's no wrong way to do this. None. Let's stay home. Oh, this is like embossed. Oh, that's gorgeous. Linda always has such good ideas. She really does. Okay. Now, I'm going to put this in my extra. I'm not going to even open it because, well, let me make sure it's the same. Yeah, it's just sentiment, so I will put this in extras because I don't want to be stingy. I try really hard not to be, you guys. I really, truly do. I try to be as giving as you all are to me, and then some, right? Like, there's so much joy in giving to others, at least for me there is. All right, so here's some little bits. I know these all went together. Houses, feels like home. I don't see a name. Um, Melissa Johnson did this one. Oh, look, it's a fence. Now I know this and this, these just all went together and then houses. <laughs> How amazing are these houses? I love them. Melissa, those are cute. I know these went with this team Casa. Okay. And then I don't know who these are. Very cute houses. Love them. Feels like home. I don't know who that is. I left this in here. I do not know who made it, but it is a beautiful title and I did, it's, it's very delicate, see? And I did not want to make it worse, so, unless I was gonna use it. So there's that one. Almost done, almost done. Um, we have a beautiful tag. Oh, that's pretty. It was made by, I have a little piece of washi on there. Let me see if I can get it off. Okay, it was made by Rebecca. Then we have this beautiful little sentiment with a scallop. It was made by Mary. This is just a little bird house. Not sure who made that one. These I know were made by Josie. She sent me one, so I must have been on a team that she also was on. Um, this just says home and it has an extra heart. Um, and these were made by Michelle very cute home where your feet may leave but not your heart that's cool 
pretty. This was made by Barb. Oh, she does love the vintage. Very pretty, very pretty. And then she sent these beautiful flower elements to go with it. Love all of this. I can't believe how long this video is, but I can't do nothing about it. I do not know who made this, but it is gorgeous. There's a doily, there's a bunch of elements in there, and then there's photo corners in there to match. I don't know if you can see that. Very pretty. Then I have this one here. I'm not sure who made it, but I am in love with this. Look how cute that is. And then this one was made by Debbie, and it has two different elements. It has the home sweet home title, and then it has a heart with the word home on it go together. Then we have Mary did this one. It's just a little cut apart, and she embellished it. I, it, I love that. It's awesome. They actually kind of go together. Look at that. That's what that is too, now that I think about it. That's smart. Very, very smart. Right up my alley to use up a collection. Here's a title home and I don't see a name on it, but I love that as well. You are my home. You are home. Pretty tag. And then this one was made by Mary Kay. And this one, I'm not sure who was made by, but that's so cute. So cute. Perfect for summer, right? Okay, you guys, finally, that's it. I don't even have anything else to say. I'm just going to wrap it up. I am truly blessed by each of your creations. And I know while others may not say it, they are blessed as well. So thank you for those who are participating. And I hope you're having as much fun and get as much joy as I do out of it. And if it's your first time and you want to join us, hit that description button and come on over. We're not, we don't bite. <laughs> Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.